All right, Mr. Sansomino here, question number five, and we're moving along very steadily. Now, if you went, remember question four, that went by in 10 seconds. For this one, we'll need about 20 seconds, okay, because you guys are advanced, and this is just a refresher course. All right, so check it out. Number five says, movement of the Earth's crust along plate boundaries produces. Now, look, that's like a foreign language. If you don't know about science, then you don't know the fact that the earth actually moves. It's alive, man. And sometimes it gets a little restless, you know, and it wants to stretch itself out. So let's say me and Ken are hanging out, and the earth starts to stretch itself out. And these plates, they start to move. One comes up, one goes down. What's going to happen is the ground is going to start to what? It's going to start to shake. Okay, when it starts to shake, me and Ken are going to be like, oh, no, we're going to be really scared because now we're having an earthquake. Okay, now remember, when these plates start to shift, they create these tremors. So it's looking for what? Movement of the Earth's crust along plate boundaries, as we see happening right there, uh, produces what? Well, it doesn't produce a front, because uh, that just has nothing to do with the question. So you just got to let that go. Don't waste your time on those. Uh, it doesn't produce tides unless it happens in the ocean. Okay, if you have a serious or a major earthquake in the ocean, it can produce a tide or a tidal wave or a, you know, something along those lines. But that's not the best answer for this question. It's not going to affect the weather. It's not going to produce a hurricane, but a volcanic eruption may. All right, so that's out. The best possible answer for this, whenever you hear the word plate boundaries, okay, and they're moving, you're always thinking about earthquakes, okay? The earth does live, it does move, it does shake around. You just don't want to be there when it happens, all right? So keep in mind, plate boundaries, movement of, movement. Anytime you hear movement of plates, you have to think about earthquakes. Best answer.